Hello kids, daddy's here. Right now, daddy will show you an American teen sex comedy from 1983, titled Risky Business. Be a good kid and subscribe to daddy's channel. Spoilers ahead, watch out. The film begins with a teenage boy named Joel. He finds himself in a college entrance exam that he's nearly three hours late for. In fact, he has no chance finishing the test and going into college. Over a poker game, Joel's friends laugh at his story of seduction over the neighbor's babysitter. Joel admits the truth about her to his friends if he hadn't courage to do sex with her. Before his friend takes off, Joel admits the truth about the babysitter to Miles. The situation wasn't perfect or ideal for him to do it. Miles thinks he should take a chance and do it at his house. Coincidentally, his parents leave on vacation for a few days. Joel smiles to hear Miles' suggestion. The next day, he is dropping his parents off at the airport for their vacation and leave him alone. He starts his day without his parents beside him by drinking alcohol and enjoy the foods, and he plays music on his father's bass and dance to the beat of old-time rock and roll by Bob Seger. Attending a future enterpriser's lecture, Joel and Barry have a task to make money from workshop. Glenn comes to Joel's house with his girlfriend, looking to use a room for sex. Though reluctant, Joel eventually obliges. At night, Joel and Barry take out the Porsche. They're impressing the girls and enjoying the racing. The following day, Miles calls a prostitute named Jackie on Joel's behalf. For Miles, that's the right time for Joel to having fun when his parents away. Against Joel's wishes, Miles leaves a message for prostitute, giving Joel's name and address. He gets panicked. Later on, Jackie, a black transvestite prostitute, shows up. He says that he isn't Joel, and he'll be right back to call Joel for her. He looks frightened and calls Miles, demanding he come over and get rid of her. Amused, Miles refuses to come. Joel pays her just to leave, but before she does, she gives him the number for another prostitute named Lana. She says, you ask for Lana. It's what you want. It's what every white boy off the lake wants. That night, he is unable to sleep and hesitantly calls Lana by using the name Ralph for soliciting her services. And he tells her his address. Here she comes, and he sees her who is revealed is a pretty blonde woman, and they spend the entire night having sex. Joel loses his virginity to Lana. The next morning, she demands $300 for her services, but he doesn't have the money. Meanwhile, she looks unhappy to hear that. He goes to the bank to take the cash of his parents' money. When he returns, Lana is gone, along with his mother's expensive Steuben glass egg. Following a tip from Jackie, Joel and Miles find Lana at the Drake Hotel where she usually does her service. She sees him and knows if he looks for her. At the same time, Joel hasn't a gulp to approach her. Outside, Lana approaches Joel, asking for a ride. In the car, she begs him to drive away, but he wants to talk about the Steuben egg. Guido, Lana's pimp, approaches the car, demanding her to get out. When he pulls a gun, Joel speeds away. Guido chases after them. The car chase begins. With his driving skill, Joel successfully away from Guido. The next morning, he gets a call from his mother. She says that she is going to home on Saturday and he has to remember it. Lana cooks Joel breakfast. She talks about her debt to Guido and her hospital stay from stress. Guido has her locked out her apartment. And then, he begs her to leave from his house because he is going for school. Before he takes off, Joel begs her to give the glass egg back but she's too persuasive by saying what they did last night. He smiles and replies it was a great time for him. He lets Lana stay at his house while he goes to school with one rule to don't steal anything. And if he finds anything missing, he is going straight to the police. When he returns, his friends have come over. He finds Miles and Glenn outside his house. He is suspicious Glenn had sex with Lana, but Glenn assures him that he didn't. Glenn just had sex with Lana's friend, Vicky. After that, Vicky attempts to give him his cut for services rendered to Glenn, but he refuses it and kicks both of them out of the house. And they take off from his house. When they both leave, they meet Guido and get into an altercation on Joel's front lawn before running back into his house. And Joel confronts Guido outside his house. From inside, Lana screams at Guido that she works for Joel now. On dinner time, he agrees to let Lana and Vicky stay for one night. She finds Joel who seems busy to concentrate for study, and he discusses his school business project with Lana about a workshop on free enterprise. 
He is with his friend make a product and try to market it but they don't earn the money yet. There's an idea comes up from Lana's mind about getting Joel's friends together with her friends and making some real money for their workshop's task. She wants to help him and they will make a fortune together but it seems like he is unsure of her idea. As the conversation goes on, Lana accidentally bumps the Porsche out of gear while retrieving her purse, the car rolls down the hill and onto a pier. Despite Joel's desperate attempt to stop it, the pier collapses, and the Porsche sinks into a lake. The Porsche is badly damaged. When Joel takes it to a repair shop, he is horrified to learn how much fixing it will cost. He knows his father is going to kill him. He meets Lana as he hugs her and begins to cry. They later decide to turn his parents' house into a brothel for a night. Joel's share of the profits will pay for his father's car repair. He agrees to her plan and they start to buy the things for support their business. This is called as a risky business. They are providing woman services and assisted by his workshop friend, Barry. Lana's job is to handle the production. Meanwhile, Joel focus on the market. He offers a profit of using a woman service in his place. The party is hugely successful. The house is packed with Joel's friends and classmates and Lana's co-workers. His risky business is a booming. However, the recruiter from Princeton, Bill, chooses that night to interview Joel for admission to Princeton. He comes because of his father's request. The interview begins to start and plagued by interruptions. Joel tells he will choose business as his major. It feels like Bill is unimpressed by his resume. Joel lets go of his Ivy League aspiration, as he uses his glasses and says, sometimes you gotta say what the fuck. Then, he talks to Lana, it's like University of Illinois. He successfully nailed it, and got $8,000 for night. After the party, Joel and Lana go by the train. She instructs him to be patient and wait for the train to empty, so they can make love. And then, when the train is empty, they both begin to start. With his money, he easily pays for the repair and then, he picks up the Porsche. After picking up the Porsche, Joel finds his home robbed, empty of furniture. When he tries to call Lana, Guido answers that he tells Joel that he will let him buy back his furniture. He begs him to give it back all the furniture because his parents are on the way home. He negotiates with Guido, and he pays all of them with his own money. He also gives him back his mother's Steuben glass egg. Joel and Barry rush to put everything back into the house. His parents come home and find everything in place. Unfortunately, his mother finds a crack in her glass egg. Joel is scolded, forced to pay for a new egg. She feels disappointed of him and thinks he should pay it back what he did. Later, Joel's father congratulates him. The interviewer was very impressed, and he will be accepted into Princeton. He feels so proud of him. Joel and Lana walk through a park at night for dating. They speculate about their future. She tells him that she wants to keep on seeing him. In the end, with all the risk he took, he finally got it. That's all for today kids. Help daddy by like and subscribe. See you on the next videos.